and good afternoon. Here is the news afternoon. First, the highlights. Legacy government set to prosecute five miscreants for attacking LASMA officers. Nigeria Customs Service intercepts over 6,000 cap intensive dynamite explosives in Kebi State. And Florentine Malaysia's former Prime Minister faces anti corruption probe. And in sports, Nigeria's women volleyball team opens camp ahead Olympics qualifier. And now the details I am Mike James. The Lagos government is set to prosecute five individuals arrested for assaulting and injuring LASMA personnel during an enforcement operation in the Obakran Avenue area of Ikeja. Speaking on the incident, Special Advice that to the Governor on Transportation, Cholagiwa, explained that the LASMA operatives were conducting an operation to remove legally packed trucks on Obakran Avenue in response to numerous complaints from the public about the trucks which were causing traffic congestion when they were viciously attacked by the truck drivers and miscreants in the area. He added that despite last month operational vehicles being vandalized, 54 trucks were successfully evacuated during the enforcement operations to decongest the road and ensure the free flow of traffic movement. Gima revealed that the police, working in conjunction with last month officials, arrested five of the attackers who will be prosecuted by the state government as a deterrent to others. The Legacy government has clarified the widely circulated reports claiming that Governor Baba Dide Somolu has increased the minimum wage in the states to 70,000 naira. Commissioner for Information and Strategy, Bing Amotosho, who gave the clarification in a statement, said the governor was erroneously quoted. Amotosho said since January, civil servants had been earning the 35,000 naira wage award directed by the federal government. He explained that those earning a minimum of 35,000 naira before are now earning over 70,000 naira, but did not announce a new minimum wage, adding that the government has doubled up and has not left its citizens on their road. Nicole Marshall of the Federal Road Safety Corps, FRSC, Dauda B, has expressed worries over the increase in debts resulting from road traffic crashes due to excessive speed and use of substandard tyres. And reacting to two accidents that claimed 18 lives in different locations in Kanu and Kaduna State, the Corps Marshal directed the commanding officers to expedite action towards enforcing compliance on the road traffic violations. They also warned motorists to show negligence and comply with maximum safety requirements. The Pharmacist Council of Nigeria, PCN, has sealed no fewer than 751 medicine shops in Gombe, open drug market. PCN Director of Enforcement, Stephen Eshumobi, said the patent medicine stores were sealed for offences ranging from the sale of medicines in the open market to operating without registration with the council. Eshumobi also listed poor documentation, poor storage facilities and stocking of ethical products without the supervision of a pharmacist as some of their breaches. He noted that the PCN as a government agency is not interested in crippling businesses but willing to encourage growth, bearing safety in mind. And now to the rest of the stories. The Kebi Area Command of the Nigeria Customs Service has intercepted about 6,240 pieces of cap-sensitive dynamite explosive along the Yari Jega Road. Area Controller of Customs, Ihana Cho Ojiki, said the dynamites were intercepted by the Joint Border Patrol Team of Customs, Army, Police, Immigration and the Department of State Services, while on intelligence-based patrol. Ihana Cho said a joint examination was conducted in the presence of relevant units and the suspected items were found to contain 40 cartons and sacks totaling 6,240 pieces of cap-sensitive dynamite explosives. The controller said handover of the items to the DSS by the customs was done in the spirit of interagency collaboration and for continued investigation. Deputy Director of DSS, Anthony Udualu, who received the explosive on behalf of the state director of the SS commanded the customs and pledged that the interagency collaboration will be sustained. Minister of Interior Olubumi Tunjiojo has announced that the government would relocate a lot of correctional centers to create better space, security, and infrastructure. 
Kim Jong Jun made a pledge when he visited Suleja Medium Security Custodial Center, where 119 inmates escaped following a rainstorm that damaged the facility on Wednesday. The minister said it is imperative to relocate a lot of the correctional centers to a conducive environment. According to him, the ministry is already working behind the scene to fashion out a correctional system that would work for all. Tunjiojo assured that such an incident would not happen again in any other facility across the country. And in some foreign news, Malaysia's former Prime Minister Mathai Mohamed is being investigated in connection with a corruption probe involving his sons. Chief Commissioner of the Malaysian Anti-Corruption Commission, Mac Azambaki, said that Mathai was among those being investigated. In January, the MAC ordered Matahiru's two eldest sons, Rizan and Mukazani, to declare their assets as part of inquiries prompted by the Pandora and Panama Papers leaks. 98-year-old Matahiru is known as a vocal critic of sitting Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim, who was elected in 2022 on a platform to root out corruption among the upper echelons of power. Anwar, who served as Mathahiru's deputy during the 1990s before being jailed, has denied accusations of using his anti-corruption as a pretext to target political rivals and insists that he does intervene in legal cases. And in sports news, Nigeria's women's beach volleyball team will resume camp today ahead preparations for the Paris 2024 Olympic Games qualifiers hoping to clinch the only ticket from Africa. Media assistant to the president of the Volleyball Federation, Dari Kuti, who confirmed that the players will resume camp under coach Kayode Ajilore, said the qualifiers will be held in Morocco from June 19 to 23. The women's beach volleyball team won a bronze medal at the 13th African Games in Ghana to book a place in the qualifiers. Host nation France were automatically granted one out of the 24 sports, while the United States winners of the 2023 FIVB Beach Volleyball World Championships also secured one sport. The winners of each of the five Continental Confederations Olympic qualification events and one sport and Nigeria will hope to pick the available slot from Africa. And that was our news at noon. But just before we go, speed thrills but kills. Please do not drive beyond specified speed limit. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms, X, Traffic Radio 961, Instagram, Lagos Traffic Radio 961. Subscribe and watch our news and programs live on YouTube, Traffic Radio 961. You can also visit our website, Traffic Radio 961.ng. Did you know that the Somalu administration supplied 86,012 furniture set to 775 public schools? You can always get details on the Legacy Government website and end the news. Here are the highlights of the major stories. The Legacy Government is set to prosecute five individuals arrested for assaulting and injuring LASMA personnel during an enforcement operation in the Obakran Avenue area of Ikedia. The Kabi Area Command of the Niger Customs Service has intercepted about 6,240 pieces of cap-sensitive dynamite explosives along the Yari Jega Road. And we also told you that Malaysia's former Prime Minister is being investigated in connection with a corruption probe involving his sons. And in sports, Niger's women's beach volleyball team will resume camp today ahead preparations for the Paris 2024 Olympic Games qualifiers, hoping to clinch the only ticket from Africa. And for contact with the newsroom, send a message to info at trafficradio961.ng. And our hands and knees broadcast compiled by Zainab Adibeshi. Thank you for listening. Beautiful Friday afternoon. It's quite sunny and hot out there. Remember to stay hydrated. And a bit, we'll have Micah, Aroja, and 